Paravalvular or even central aortic regurgitation after transcatheter aortic valve implantation is an important limitation of TAVR and has generated a lot of reports about the effect of aortic regurgitation on outcomes. Now in Jack, researchers have put together an analysis of currently published literature to establish the incidence, impact, and predictors of post-TAVR aortic regurgitation. They reviewed studies published between 2002 and 2012 with regards to using an electronic search and reviewed using a random effects model. From almost 4,000 initial citations, 45 studies reported on almost 13,000 patients who were included in the analysis of incidents and outcomes of post-TAVR aortic regurgitation. Interestingly, they split close to 50-50 between core valve and Edwards valve implants. So here are the results of their investigation. The pooled estimate for moderate or severe AR post-TAVR was 12%, a little bit high. Moderate or severe AR was more common with use of the core valve at 16% versus 9%. The presence of moderate or severe AR post-TAVR increased mortality at 30 days and at one year both. Mild AR, was also associated with an increased hazard for mortality, but that was overturned by a sensitivity analysis. In the analysis, 25 studies reported on predictors of post aver aortic regurge. It comes as no surprise that implantation depth, valve undersizing, and Agatston calcium score were identified as important predictors. The take-home message here is clear. Aortic regurgitation after TAVR is serious business. Moderate or severe aortic regurge is common after TAVR and is an adverse prognostic indicator of short and long-term survival. Even mild AR may be associated with increased long-term mortality. The authors state the obvious, that after TAVR, every effort should be made to minimize AR by comprehensive pre-procedural planning and meticulous procedural execution but that may be easier said than done. In my view, what we are seeing is what happens with almost all new technology. First generation devices are not perfect and it rests on the better designs of the next generation valves to diminish the incidence of AR post TAVR. Without that, TAVR has a real Achilles heel. I'm Peter Block and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.